Goodness, what a day. All right, everybody, now is the part where you need to put your tray tables up. All electronic devices need to go in the off position, not airplane mode. They need to go in the off position. I hate that, you know, I love when you get on planes, it's like, I think Alec Baldwin said it best. Would you get on a plane if you knew you could take it down because you didn't turn your Kindle off? No, you wouldn't get on that plane. Um, I'm always like the bad little bastard that doesn't turn his phone off. I'm like, oh yeah. Turning it off right now. But, uh, oh, what kind of phone is that? Oh, it looks smart. It's got the Decepticons on it. Villain. Anyway, um, your phone's a dead phone? Did it sign the death note? Yeah, 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 true. Sure. My phone is a squee phone because... It's got a case on it made by Vic Mignogna. Well, uh, let's see. Hold on, I, I've, I've got to do this properly. You know, these people up here have done so much stuff that I can't keep it all in my in my brain, my mind grapes. I've got to look it up here. Okay, don't, don't, uh, okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. <laughs> on my far left, she's been in over 75 commercials and was an on-air DJ for Radio Disney. <laughs> she stars opposite Sean Austin, Tim Curry in the film Ribbit. <laughs> Her anime voiceover is a cool road from D. Gray Man. From Soli! Yeah. Elizabeth from Black Butler, Natsumi from Sergeant Frog, Naomi in Witchblade, and many more. She is Jeremy, the Iron Woman Lee! <laughs> to my left, an import to the United States proper. <laughs> He made his debut as Malik and Blast Rider. He was also sold in Soul Leader. You can find him also as Kamui in Tsubasa Tokyo Revelations. He's in Shangri-La. He's in my heart forever. Micah, the Leonardo da Vinci of anime drawing Soul The person standing before you was Edward Elric in Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. Dark Mousy. Wow. The lead in Dean Angel. He was also some character in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Goku in Dragon Ball Z, why not? <laughs> Batman in the animated series. <laughs> Solid Snake in Metal Gear. <laughs> also known as Batman and the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> I am Christopher Savage. <laughs> and I've been passed down the old strong line for generations. Uh, uh, very much so. They had to inject it with a shit ton of testosterone. Because I have very feminine hands. Uh, oh, well, actually, hold on. Hold those out. Well, yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah, they are purple, but they have good, you have good blood flow, but I mean, like, look at them. Your hands, are, your hands are very feminine, but my aunt once looked at my hands, she goes, S Todd, your hands are very feminine. And I go, well, why did you say that to me? You really hurt my self-esteem. And uh, that, that did hurt my self-esteem because um, I, you know, I had an Asian bowl haircut at the time. I was a fat little kid. I, I, my nickname was Kirby. I ate everything. I know my nickname was Cheeto. Because I liked Cheetos and I liked fried things and I would eat all the time. I needed a lot of energy to maintain the bowl haircut. Um, but anyway. Into a bowl, like. 
and it gets bigger. My head is so fat and heavy. Like when I sleep on a plane, my head's like, oh. Did you have a bowl cut fro? Did I have a bowl cut fro? Uh, I, you, I, how are you? You're good? That's kind of cocky. But yeah, no, we're, we're okay. You know what we, we could use? If we had, you know, is there only one mic for the room? There's, I know there's only one Micah in the world, but one mic, I would, I'd love to, you know, I'm gonna give this mic to them if we had two more mics for them. That would be great. What was your name? My name's Lee. 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 Very nice. Yay, Lee. Oh, yeah. Lee. And, and also, por favor, necesitamos agua mineral. Por favor. Mineral water. Okay, we'll see if we get that. Um, okay, so I have a question. I love, I'm so honored to be on panels with you guys because I don't get to do it often. We work together on a lot of shows, but we don't technically work together. We don't get to see each other. We're just kind of hanging out. Yeah, we don't ever get to see each other. The only time I get to see Mike is when I'm stalking him around 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. when he's sleeping because it's just the sweetest time. I love just... Kill Kill Wally. Kill Wally. Kill watch, whatever. I know because I wake you up with anxiety. Right. Um, so, what what do you? So, as far as voice acting, Mike, I'm gonna ask you first. You know, you, you came over and you did Blast Rider. When you came on the scene, I was like, holy crap, it's Mike Solis. What um, what uh, what inspired you to do this? Did you always just want to do voice acting, or did you? Uh, I uh, I was inspired by the Hawaiian dance of Hula. <laughs> He literally just came up with this answer at dinner about 45 minutes ago and said, I need a new answer to this question. I'm going to say it today. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> no, 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 I want to hear all about the backstory. No, because I already told it to you over dinner. I just want to see it. <laughs> um, so, I wanted to be a voice actor. And why are you laughing? Because it's true. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> That's okay, the laughter is like when I ask women out on dates. <laughs> what? That was the punchline or was the joke? I was like, no, that, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> Yeah, I, I understand. I've had a bowl cut, too. Um, it's an Asian thing, I guess. It's a very Asian thing. Wow, so I speak Japanese. That's fun. Um, yeah, I sent in a demo to Funimation, because I really like acting, um, and I like anime, and that happened to uh, you know, intersect there. So, uh, and for some reason, they contact me back, and they keep calling me back. I don't know why. I think it's because they actually kidnapped my parents and are holding them hostage, and they're like, yes. Uh, who's next? Oh, why did I, why did I start being well, Because a lot of times people think like, oh, I chose voice acting or this, but a lot of times people just kind of fall into it. Um, was that the case with you or did you seek it out? Well, I started acting when I was six and that was definitely something I wanted to do. Um, and then I started doing voiceover because I could read. Uh, and I sounded like Still I was learning. a five-year-old. <laughs> it's a very intense process. It's, it's a letters. journey. I know. You gotta learn the so letters. Much. Like, then they mix them all up into these formations. And then there's the pronunciation thing. Spelling. But I could read okay when I was seven. But I sounded like I was like three or four. So I got to do a lot of voiceover because of that. Because most three and four-year-olds can't read as well as a seven-year-old. Or like... Some can, not. Um, so then I started doing things like that, and then when I was 18, I graduated from high school, and suddenly the uh, the illusion of the safety net that is school is no longer there. And you're like, oh, I gotta have a job now. This is really unfortunate. This is kind of terrifying. And I had like nightmares about it. And then the magical world that is Funimation became an opportunity <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I love the, the dance that you're doing. No, I do. Can you continue? Um, and so then I auditioned for Peach Girl and that, sorry. And then, um, and they keep calling me back as well, which is kind of cool. <laughs> So, you guys love the Funimation. 
You've been there a lot. Um, well, I was the one that kidnapped your parents. <laughs> It's okay. It's alright. We take great care of them. Don't worry about it. Your dad loves cream puffs. I'm glad you got that right. Yeah, there we go. Hi, Lee! 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 Give it up for Lee. Uh, Lee, what, uh, how many conversations have you had on that walkie-talkie today? Not very many? So you're not working? You're, you're, you're working hard or you're hardly working? What's going on? Oh my. I have a question. How did you become a voice actor? <laughs> New occupation, actually. I decided to try out. Yeah? And what do you think about that? So what, so explain, walk us through, walk us through the journey, the dream that you're doing. What are you doing? I hate this. Go ahead. And, how did you get into doing that statement? Oh, you're in that show? I don't know about this stuff right there, but anyway, that changed my life, so... <laughs> well, we weren't until just now. Let's see, Tessa. Oh, this is number two. There's only two inputs, I bet. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. All right. So you guys, you guys work with Funimation. I mean, what is your, what is your dream goal? I mean, have you reached it? Dub, dubbing anime? I mean, what's your, what do you want to achieve here? What's? <laughs> oh, I forgot to ring the bell. Yes. Um, my goal is to stay out of the cardboard box and actually live in in a you know a place that rain doesn't fall on my head when I. Sleep. An appropriate shelter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that is my goal. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as I keep getting to act and stay out of the cardboard box, yes. I think that's a great day. Righteous. Micah? Oh no, I don't, I don't even, I don't know who I am. Go ahead. I don't have dreams. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just have nightmares. Um, it's a vague dream, but I think it's one that I'd like to aspire to. I would like to change the world. In any, in any way, she would talk. Like introducing the T-Virus to the... Well, for good. <laughs> oh, for good, okay. Spreading hope. That so, would be my thing. So you guys came to Funimation, you're, you're living your dream, in a sense. And so then you then you fall upon Soul Eater, this show. Now, did you know about Soul Eater before auditioning for it? Or did you guys research it? How did you... How did that work out? Um, I, I've heard about it from various people, friends who have seen it in the Japanese. Um, but I didn't really know much of it. And at the time, I was so new, I didn't think I had a chance. So when Zach told me, I thought he made a very big mistake and was reading it wrong. Because um, there are more than one Michael Soul said. <laughs> yes! It, it was the other one who came from the yeah. 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 So you, you did know about the show, though. Vaguely. Okay, all right. What about you, Sherman? Did you know about Soul Eater before you did it? Um, I heard about all of the hype and how beautiful a show it was and how exciting it was. And at Funimation, everybody talks about all of the properties. And I don't know if you knew about all of the stuff that was being said. I was actually talking to Jamie Markey right before I went and auditioned. And I was like, yeah, there's like these twins, apparently. And she was like, we should totally be twins. And we were joking around and we like lived in it. And then we found out we got cast at the same time. Heyo. See, I didn't know anything about Soul Leader. In fact, I was out to lunch with some people from Funimation, and they were telling me about it, and they said, you should, you should audition for this show called Soul Leader. And I'm like, well, what is it about? Because, you know, you say these titles, everyone knows Soul Leader now, but at the time, it's just a, a, two words. And I didn't know what it was. And they go, well, there's this guy that, uh, it's a really cool arm, by the way. There's this guy that, uh, yeah, it's, it's bad A. There's this guy in there that rides a skateboard, and he's like, Death's son. Death the Kid. And I was like, hey, you know what? One of my, on, on my bucket list, son of a bitch, on my bucket list <laughs> is to be the, the, the son of Death. Because, you know, Death and I are tight. Um, so, oh, I get to add this to my collection. I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, so I didn't, uh, I didn't know about Soul Leader, and then when I auditioned for it, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I just, we all just kind of fell into it. See, the thing about auditioning is we don't know what the director thinks of what we do and, 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 and things like that and, and how it's taken and we just hope for the best. And we hope that one day we can be standing in front of black stars and getting autographs. <laughs> Pretty much what we hope for. Isn't the general response... 
Oh, snap. Isn't the general response after you finish an audition the, okay, cool. Yeah, the director that directs this show, he's like, this is his response to pretty Anything. much everything. Uh, yeah, okay. That was cool, thanks. Yeah, I'll give you a call. Even when you get cast in the show, though, generally, you do, yeah. you do one run through, and uh -huh. they go, Okay. All right, let's uh, let's Hold on, stash let's, uh, that. let's check it. Uh huh. Yeah, one more. A little bit faster uh, on the first part. Yeah. It's like it's pretty much like that. And even cool. even when it's even when it's even when it works, they go, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, but with Soul Eater, the thing that was tricky about this this cast, the casting of this show, which was really awesome for you know, because you were saying like you thought they made a mistake or whatever, is that the Japanese had to approve the casting of this show. Yeah, that's true. So we were. Yeah, was, the, so the Japanese producers, who uh, we've met a couple times, were, were had to approve the casting of it and everything, and so if people had an issue with uh, certain... Because, you know, at the beginning they were like, oh, why is that person cast like this, or da-da-da-da-da. It's like, hey, the people that created it totally approved it, so nanny, nanny, boo-boo. <laughs> Jamie, somebody actually came in and they said, hey, you guys don't know this. But, and Jamie and I were there, and they said, you guys are on the short list for the twins. And the short list means, like, you guys are one of the options that the Japanese are liking. And we were like, we don't, when do we get to know that this is, because we want to get excited. Can we do it out in the hall right now? And they said, yeah, if you can Get apply. excited out in the hall right yeah. now? So we were like, oh my gosh, we're so excited. What are you guys excited about? Ice cream? <laughs> so good ice cream. Um, and so I assume, now this, this may sound like a crazy question, but how many people in here have seen Soul Eater? How many people in this room that have seen it bought Soul Eater? Uh oh. Uh oh. So, here, so here's the deal. The reason I say that is because there are a couple of shows out there that people are like, oh man, I want more of this show. And everybody loves it, but then, for example, for example, Frog. S Sergeant Frog. How many people have seen Sergeant Frog? Yeah, lots of people. How many people bought Sergeant Frog? Not a lot. <laughs> You've all seen it, but you didn't buy it. We bought it. We bought it yeah, in the convention, it. same convention, because we were trying to make a point yeah. that, you know, we'll, we'll buy the show, because we want to do more Sergeant Frog. I love that show. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. But, uh... <laughs> Oh, frog, frog, frog. Oh, 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 frog, frog, frog. But, uh. So, with Soul Eater, it was a lot of fun, and it felt like, I don't know how it felt to you guys, but it felt like we burned through that show because it was one of the first shows where we recorded that fast. And we did so many episodes of it, but it feels like we just did like 12. We did 52 episodes. Did we? Oh, that's right. Your parents were kidnapped. That's right. Okay. That's a pity recording. Processing error. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, 52 episodes and then it was done. Um, do you guys have any uh, Soul Eater related questions? Questions. Questions. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to answer your question. Um, Strategic. Um, Jeremy, go ahead and, and pick uh, pick somebody. You know you got to pick somebody. Someone like you. I've been looking around, searching for my gun that tattoo girls. Their names are Jill and Patty. Anyway, um, 
But yeah, I, I modeled a little bit of, off of her. And then a little bit off of the kid in me that always likes to be really oblivious and giggly. So a lot of it is me. And I, in, in New York, when we premiered it, uh, somebody brought a giraffe. Oh and we slaughtered it and ate the meat. <laughs> Do you remember that, or was that a different giraffe? That was, that was a different giraffe. Oh, yes. okay. That, that was, was that was after hours. Yeah. Um, in the middle of the panel, somebody's uh, asking a question, and somebody lifts the giraffe up, and I was clearly not focused, and you could see that I'm so unlike Patty as I scream, "Oh my God, giraffe! It's so cute!" Sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> And that was your first con, right, Micah? Yeah. And he was scared. This dude was freaking out. So was scared. Like, we had to go to jail before we got to the con. He, he stayed in his room the entire time. No, I did too. The yes. only we pictured out was together. And, and we, we went, went to a jail. And we got lost and went to a jail. Yeah. <laughs> we were sense. on our way to the convention, and all of a sudden, gates, and we're like, Yeah, the security dudes are like, Can I help you or something? We're like, no. You've been walking around looking for the con, but you found the jail. <laughs> you know you got to use your maps. I, I, I need you to follow me around and just sing. That's it. Oh my gosh! There's a strange gondola man who's like, all right, oh. Oh, oh, you too. Oh, yes, well, you, you should take her out to the park and, um, and row a boat and then take off your shirt for her. <laughs> and I'm like... True story. No exaggeration verbatim what the man said. No, not even kidding. That was one of the most frightening things of my life. Gondola, man, you're hurting me. I don't know if he talked to you, but that's not what he said to me. I've got scars. Yes. I bet you. Yeah, you do. We almost got hit by many cars. Oh, and there was a manga cake cut with a samurai sword. It was awesome. Oh yeah, that's right. They made a, a cake made made out of a who's bunch seen, of manga. Who's seen uh, Ace of Cakes? Ace right. of Cakes. They made a manga cake for Del Rey's anniversary. Oh, that's so it was awesome. Yeah. Oh, um, Who did you base your voice on? Your my, uh, your, my apathetic, soul. lazy teenage self <laughs> that eats just happens to eat souls. Oh yes. <laughs> Red, 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 red. What about you, sir? I based mine a little bit on, because it's this role and then Naru and Ghost Hunt, in which I'm like, this is probably the closest I'm going to get to Batman. <laughs> I don't know. Naru's totally Batman. Yeah, totally. And so that's the, uh, that's the one that I totally based on Batman, and then Death the Kid, I was like, because the thing is, we don't see the motion of these characters. Like, we just see screenshots. I had no clue about anything about that. I was just told... Uh, Zach is the director. Uh, basically, the character, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of like, he freaks out like Watanuki, but uh, he's a little bit lower in your register, and uh, whenever you're ready. Like, it's, <laughs> so like, okay. Mine was, hey, Sherry, can you laugh real quick? Yeah, hang in that area. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, they, they showed me the Japanese clip, and they were like, try to, try to match this. Mm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot my awesome. Oh, you know I'm gonna steal your parents! <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> Next, uh, next time. All right, two things real quick. Now, this is for you. Yeah! Blackstar is awesome, man. He goes, he's... Hey, Blackstar, give us, give us a little Yahoo. Give us a Yahoo. Yeah! I did have a birthday. Oh, my goodness. This makes the seventh birthday cake. Oh, my God. Oh, snap! Look at that. Look at, look at what's on there. You got a little Natsu, you got a little... Is it, is it gonna hurt the kid? Can I tilt it up so we can see? Is it... That is awesome. Can you see this?
so this is so everyone's gonna we're all gonna have a slice, right? Yo, oh, this is cool. Okay. Let me let me get a little picture here. Let me hey Mike, let me take the top off. Let me take its top off so you can get a picture. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I I I don't know how to handle myself. Okay. There we go. Okay, let me take a picture. You're only gonna have one enemy from this. Well, two. One is the gym, so don't go near the gym. Thank you so much. This is very, very kind of you, man. How so old are you? No. <laughs> My, uh, don't worry about that, Mike. Did you, did you, did you uh, want me to jump into this cake or like dive into it and like get all up in this business? We should cut as we answer questions, and when you ask a question, you come up against slice. So you better have a good qu Oh, we have to be social now. Okay, yep. first hand right there. Blair. Oh, birthday, what? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. It's something kid would like. It's a skateboard. <laughs> the Muse's record called The Origin of Symmetry. <laughs> Thoughtful gift. So, thank you. Thank you. So much. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Beautiful. That's so cool. All right. That's right. And you thought it would never work. <laughs> Origin of Sibley. Open it up. All right. So. Yes. Favorite pairings of uh, peanut butter and jelly, baby. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Put it on a slap it on some bread, put it in some ice cream, it doesn't matter. Um, what about you, Michael? Your favorite pairings of characters that we voice? Favorite pairings, Michael. Hit me with that voice acting stank. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Share me. <laughs> You're about to eat some birthday! So like, like, a, like a soul eater pairing? Like yeah, pairing, like pairing. Patty Did you say and... soul eater panty? <laughs> That's totally not available in Columbus, Ohio. Panty oh, panty and stocking, stocking, of course. Yeah. Of course. So, um, yeah, no, my, my favorite pairing for Patty that's major alliteration. Um, would totally be a giraffe. Oh. <laughs> We're one of best friends. We have like a, so much fun. She's such a creative artist. Now, <laughs> sir, <laughs> pull, pull the knife from the cake. Pull the knife. We want to pull the knife from the cake. <laughs> We all want to have a slice of cake. When you ask a question, we'll give you one. Then you have my permission to die. Then you have my permission to eat some. You adopted the contraction, I was born of it. Sorry, it's not really special. Don't have an issue. Actually, it, it is right now. Really? T I mean, technically, yes. <laughs> Do you, do you like do you like a lot of frosting? That's not a euphemism. I'm just like do you, do you like a lot of frosting. That's not a okay, I'm just asking. Now I don't know if we have enough forks for everybody. You all are gonna have to share your diseases. Is that cool? No way! Did you just say noise? Oh, no hands. Okay, they were just like, hey. NOISE!
Chairman, did you say your favorite pairing? Okay, my favorite pairing, it would be, um, if I could pair up Kararo with... Kararo hmm. hmm. with, oh, maybe Alan from D. Gray Man. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. like, like, like marry two different characters together. They would be married and they'd be the first interspecies marriage and they'd have a baby that would be like this horror that came out and it, and it would try to start terrorizing Earth and you have to try to kill it, and the only person that can get close enough to it is Kero, who's the dad, and he's conflicted because he doesn't want to kill his own child. And, but he's like, oh, this is miraculous. Two guys got together and had a baby. How did this happen? But then, a guy in a frog had a baby, and then it's like he's trying to take him down, and he realizes like he, the, the son, the child can't go on because he's too dangerous to the populace. Even though Kero wants to take over the world, he can't do it because he loves Natsumi and Fuyuki. Whoa, Fuyuki whoa, 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 whoa. That's my fat fiction. <laughs> you know you got to write some stories! <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm gonna go nap over there. <laughs> you did. Just, you, you, that's, you did a good job. A round of applause for a cake. You, you trained her well, man. Well. Okay, so who has a question? So, cause we gotta get, we gotta get rid of some cake. Okay, uh, front row, do you, Micah, you call. What's your guys' favorite color? Come on and get a piece of cake. What's your favorite color, Micah? Blue. Blue. Share me. What's your favorite color? Purple. That was so fast. I can't think of mine. Uh, well, maybe it's not my favorite. Um, blue, blue and black. A bruise is my favorite. Color. <laughs> Oh, no, no, you, you can say blue. I, I'm my favorite is cerulean. There you go. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 blue, I'm blue and black. I'm blue and black. Blue and black. Inside. Yeah, no, inside. Well, no, outside. My dad used to. Never mind. He would, he would, beat, me, he would beat me with this one, uh, this, like, you know those the, um, wooden spoons? Like, whack! I was like, one day, I'm gonna be, one day my dad, death, is gonna come beat you up, dad. Is that why you stole my parents? <laughs> yes. All right, who has a question? Um, did we already pick somebody? Let's, let's go with the fedora. Yes. It, it, the, the hat device on your head. <laughs> Any voice no. Uh, come on and get a piece of cake. <laughs> voice actors that you would like to work with? Um, uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, for me, like Mark Hamill. Oh. Of course I love working with Vic. <laughs> Who doesn't? What about you? Um, again, with the whole thing of like staying out of the box, when I would get to work with another actor, that would mean I was working, which would mean I was one step further away from that box. And I get to work with really cool people all the time who are really talented and make me sound like I'm talented, so there are way too many people that I could miss, so there you go. I think that was a yes. <laughs> you know what? Because you are so uh, working so hard to try to stay out of the box, you can have two pieces. <laughs> You know what? One for you and one for the box. <laughs> um, let's see here. What what is on your shirt? Is that a clown? What? Is... For me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh no, no, Star Wars. Star Wars. What? Well, it, it looked like that's the orange bro. And then it's the... Okay. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, what's your question? Okay, the son of Carrero and Allen. Mm. What are you doing, Akuma? Would he be in a coma? Yes. Come on up and get a piece of cake and I'll think about it when you come here. Believe it. <laughs> Would he be in a coma? And believe it or not, Actually, that was the you know second what? Time For I the movie to work, he'd have to be. He'd have to be, unfortunately. <laughs> Do people, have people seen, have people seen D. Gray Man in here? Do you know what I'm talking about? Big hammer, little hammer! Um, let's see, Micah, pick someone for a question. You might want to, I, I don't want to tell you who to pick. Pick someone now, but you might want to pick the silent clown that is sitting in the... Yeah, well, uh, funny you say that. I was going to pick the person who looks like the birthday cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. What's your favorite superhero? Come on up and get a piece of cake. You said the magic word. Jeremy, what's your favorite superhero? Iron Man. Iron Man. 
Micah, what is your favorite superhero? Red Robin. Yeah! 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 Uh, yes, very subtle in the back. Not bad. <laughs> Uh, mine, I think, well, duh, Batman, if we're going Avengers only, I'm gonna have to say Hulk. I've got a little bit of a problem with purple spandex. That's why I go with the Hulk. Um, Micah, well, pick somebody else. Children. Alright, kids, 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 uh, kids. Oh, children kids here. for kids here? Alright. Are there kids here? Yes. Alright. Yes. Get up. Get a piece of cake. <laughs> What's your question? Do you, children, what do you think kids do? Only be able to use Patty for like a week, or half of the bangs on the back of the head be two inches longer than the other side? Mm. Oh. Oh. That was deep. Somebody's awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's true, but yes. the bangs, though. <laughs> How about, can I, can I offer a third suggestion? No. No? No. I can't do both. You can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Yes, children, you wanted to do children? Children under, under 12. Children under 12, right? Is that what it said? So kids under 12, if you want some cake. Ask a question. If you want some cake. Oh, I would the bangs. Uh, so you are such a good cake cutter. Okay. Uh, let's see. Micah picks somebody else here. With that plastic knife. You can't stab me with a plastic knife. What is your favorite anime villain? Come on up and get some cake. Favorite anime villain? Who's your favorite anime villain? Yeah, I got two. It's symmetrical. Oh, that'll hurt. Mine would have to be the Keishin. The Keishin? Oh, that's a good one. Which, who's your favorite anime villain, Micah? I'm still thinking. Okay, share me. Oh, okay. Well, if we're going favorite villains we've played, I'm gonna have to go Apos from Rin. Children under 12, I hope you don't know that show. That's it, I think, right? There's some young soldiers. Black Star, Black Star. Black Star! Black Star! Black Star. Favorite Pokemon? Come on up and get a piece of cake. That's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Lugia, my favorite, but I find I find Pseudo Wudo hilarious. <laughs> Who's your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Who's your favorite Pokemon, Shannon? Squirtle. Squirtle. My favorite Pokemon is Haberpuff. Okay, let's see. I thought that was a pony. That's right. No, de there is a Death the Kid with My Little Pony. Actually, someone drew that for me. Oh, nice. It's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see, another question. Uh, then we'll go front row. What was the first con you went to? First convention you went to? Grab a piece of cake. Uh, what was your first con, Sherry? Uh, Anime Boston, oh, wait, 7 oh, Was that the year I, That was my first con. No way! I think we went to the first con together. I went for Punch Girl. I went for, uh, uh, like, Holly, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, oh wait, oh wait, okay. Oh, I guess both of ours was Anime Boston, and I really like that con because there's a three-story Best Buy there. <laughs> Bad A for kids under 12. And there was, there was, I had a signing that I was supposed to go do, but it wasn't on my schedule. It, but it was on their schedule, but not on my personal schedule. So I didn't know about it, so I went to the museum, the Science Museum, because I'm like, oh my god, they have Star Wars stuff there? Yeah. And they... Thank you for reading my mind. And they had a they had a big like full size Naboo fighter in the in the thing. Oh yeah, I'm not wanted in Boston anymore because I actually hot wired it and I flew uh, about three miles before I ran out of fuel. Whatever. Uh, Michael, what was your first con? Uh, New York Anime Fest. New York. Oh, that's right. We, and we were all there. The, the, the prison. Yeah. Prison yeah. con. That, that was like, <laughs> that. Yeah, Michael, Michael was so uh, scared. 
like when I when I would watch it, I mean, he's like, you know, you know when you get the little, the chinchilla and when you first bring it home in the cage and it's like it's freaking out. That's what Michael was like, and and I I was like, I brought him shavings. I was like, here's some shavings. Here's a here's a little thing of water. What do you need, man? when we first got there, me and Micah, after we went to jail, so it was a little shaky of a day. Um, we were walking around and he goes, oh my gosh, there's a soul leader wall scroll. Okay, that's new. We took a picture, posing as our characters. And uh, then we can do that for the rest of the convention. If everybody was like, soul leader! We were like, ah! If that was your premiere, you would be terrified too. And, and chinchillas don't like sudden movements, so be free. Bro. Don't even get started with the sudden movements. And the dropping. Yes. I know. Anyway, uh, let's see. Micah, pick somebody. Uh, mm -hmm. All the way in the back in the red. Uh, in the right. back of the red. <laughs> Come and get your piece of cake. What is your question? What is your question? What is your guys' favorite Sith Lord in Star Wars? Favorite Sith Lord? Micah, who's your favorite Sith Lord? <laughs> Who is the Sithiest Lord you've ever you ever heard of, man? Darth Vader. <laughs> I thought you said Darth Vader. Yeah. Yes. The That's less successful the cousin. Boss. Okay, Darth. Yes. Who's your favorite Sith Lord? Ah. Cake Vader. Oh. Cupcake Vader. <laughs> you were part of the Confection Alliance and a traitor. Um, <laughs> Sprinkles of the sprinkles of the force. Uh, favorite Sith Lord, I'm gonna have to go with. Um, isn't there? I mean. So guys, I have cake with knives. Yeah, or fingers. I mean, this is like bites. Oh, bites it. My favorite Sith Lord, um, Darth Mignogna. Is that canon or your fan fiction? Strong with the force he is. <laughs> Appear at many conventions he does. Uh, let's see. Pick somebody else, sir. Uh, chopper hat. Um, chopper hat. Oh Where are you saying this? Like, oh, hi. Um, so, like, when you guys get angry or happy, do you see, like, any characters in play come out somehow? Like, you just get... Yeah, like, right out of my mouth. And I'm like, how did you get out of there? You're a full size... <laughs> And that didn't hurt at all. <laughs> do you do you fall into character when you get angry at people and want to kill them? When I get angry, um, yeah, I mean, cause it, it is our voice, so that's funny. Right, like when right. I yell, it's gonna it's gonna sound like. But when I laugh, is probably the most. Or when I get really excited about something, I'm like, oh my god, yes, I know, and then it's like a, a Lizzie Patty hybrid. <laughs> Michael? Um, not, not anger, but spazzing. Spazzing, you yes. fall into a character when you spaz? Oh yes, or when the ponytail. Any character with a ponytail. Any, any like. character with a ponytail. Um, let's see. I, I flip out when, when the situation is just so ridiculous to even talk about it is so silly. It's kind of like... What's a good example? It's like getting mad at somebody for... Not, not making the toilet paper symmetrical, and as you're yelling at the person and like bashing the head, you're like, this is so ridiculous and silly, why am I doing this to them? It's just toilet paper, it just needs to be symmetrical. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, someone else, Mr. Sodasat. Um, I saw, okay, find in the back over there. Yes, you. What's the most surprising role that you got? What were you? All of them. <laughs> you think you think I'm joking? No. Oh. <laughs> what about you? What's the most surprising role you've ever received, Shadowy? Road in D Gray Man and knee socks. Oh yeah, you didn't think you'd get road? Not at all. I thought you were great for that. You well, you walked in, you were like, she's kind of a seductive character, and I was like, mm, I should go. <laughs> no, but we, we did great. We worked. I, th I feel like we, yeah. yeah. Um, the role that I was surprised that I got was um, number one, Sergeant Frog. And then number two, I would say Natsu from Fairy Tale because. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was like, ah, I just don't know. 
And I, I thought I'm, I was like, I think I could do Urza better than Lucy. <laughs> Well, I, I see. I was I was um, surprised by Natsu because I, you know, it was in a weird transitioning period at Funimation for me, just with some stuff with how things were working out, just with you know the kidnapping was coming to light, all that kind of stuff, and I didn't think I would get it, and and I totally got it, and and I remember where I was when I got it. I was at a pizza place in Austin eating pizza, and the director called me. Every time I've gotten a lead role for him, he calls me on, on my phone. And like, the first time was for Naru. He, he called me, I was at Best Buy. The second time was for Blast Rider. Uh, I was at a Benihana. And then he called me, uh, what role is that? I forget the other role, but I think I was loading Micah's parents into the trunk. And, uh, but I had a Bluetooth headset, so it didn't really interrupt. I could still, yeah, hands-free, hands-free. So, uh, anyway, did, we, did you get a piece of cake? No. Yeah, people... The people that ask questions, you just gotta come up here and get a piece of cake. Don't be shy, don't be scared, ain't got nothing to worry about. And so, uh, let's see. I got a, I got a Facebook message to me. It was like, hey, check out this uh, Wikipedia for fairy tale. And I was like, does that mean I got it, or does that mean he's thinking about it? Because if he's just thinking about it, this is me. <laughs> and you got it. Yeah. And he told me that, that you got it oh, did while he? I was recording. He was like, well, we still have Natsu. We, we do. But we're going to string him along and make him worry. Son of a... <laughs> Son of a bisque. Um, let's see. Another question. Micah pick somebody. I can't pick anyone. I don't know how to read. I don't Barrel roll? Come get a piece of cake. The only thing I remember from Star Fox is that little ribbon that you, 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 or whatever the. That dude. Slippy, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, you. All right, first off, I have a friend named Josiah Sprinkles. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Sprinkles. Yeah, Mrs. Sprinkles, right here. Sprinkles. Hello. Josiah Sprinkles. Oh, hi. Josiah Sprinkles, Mrs. Sprinkles. Hi, Mrs. Sprinkles. Sprinkle sign, would you like to? I'm going to. Hero or villain? Well, no one is asking sorry. hero or villain. Hero. Micah is a hero. Hero? I told you, it's too, too early in the weekend. If you're an no, opening now, ceremony. Now. No, no, no. I gotta, now, be, I gotta be persuaded. You guys gotta, you guys have to own me. You gotta bring me to the side. Okay. I'm That is true. Okay, <laughs> you're a hero. So the heroes have won. I'm <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm 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 villain, man. I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> it's more fun that way. You get to the superpowers faster when you're a villain in a video game. Come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, my, Villain Joker. That's true. They're my favorite. I don't know. That, oh, no, no, that's not true. They just kill all the friends. Uh, let's see, Micah, you go ahead and pick somebody. Um, with the exception of your own characters and Soul Eater, who's your favorite? Excalibur! <laughs> I think my favorite character is my dad because he's, you know, he's just so crazy and he's like, now it's time to roll up our sleeves and get to work. <laughs> like, I mean, he's kind of cool. Um, he is about us. Uh, that pimp hand comes out. Whack! Smack it. Um, call on somebody. Excalibur. Yeah, she's like. Um, Which was our favorite character to voice? Yes. <laughs> Come get a piece of cake. <laughs> My favorite character to voice. Uh, I would say the first one is, is Sergeant Frog. Carol Rowe from Sergeant Frog. My absolute favorite character to voice in the entire world. <laughs> Carol 
Oh, okay. I don't know who my favorite is. It's really hard. Oh my god, I can't. I can't pick. Oh well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Bless you. Somebody's gonna have to be brave and just like start taking them. Start taking these. We got our own place. Um, I will say that with Sergeant Frog, so Sar over here it's different. In Asia, Sergeant Frog is like everywhere. Like, you can go to McDonald's and have, like, so a birthday cool. party with Sergeant Frog. So. And whenever I meet Japanese guests, I would just met a band, a Japanese band in uh, Canada. And they were like, oh, hello, so nice to meet you. And my handler was, my liaison was like, he's, Sar he's Kero from Sergeant Frog. And they immediately go, oh, Sergeant the Frog. <laughs> Kero Gunso. Kero Gunso. Yeah, they, and they, man, at that point, it's like, Hey, uh, I'm gonna break into your car and steal some stuff. Is that cool? Kero, yes! Please <laughs> break into my car! I, uh, I was at a convention with the creator, and we screened a couple episodes, and he was like, this is hilarious. You guys did a great job. I, I hope you get to do more. Well, I really liked it. Tell them to go to Funimation and be like, hey! They did a good job! Yes, I'm telling you! Okay. There you go, there you go. The creator approves of it, so please buy it. Yeah, it's a really cool guy. Um, pick somebody. You pick somebody, Sharon. Um, pick you. anybody. Yes. Um, Tell us, Ken. Well, around how to, uh, uh, why the anime help the industry? Or does Netflix, you think, help the industry or hurt it? I, I, think it I think it does help because, it, because it's a legitimate source that has been put, up, put, it, put out on. You know, it does, it does, certainly helps. Anything through legitimate sources like that, like Netflix and you know, even renting it and things like that, totally it's like, cool. It's just like when you buy a song on iTunes. Woo! You're still, you're still Woo! buying, you're still purchasing, you're still supporting it. Oh, that is so cheap, I don't know how it will help anything. They, they work out long-term contracts, like for example, like with uh, a show like Dexter. They're like, okay, you're gonna pay us X amount to put this show on Netflix for X amount of years. That kind of thing. So uh, it 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 just definitely helps. Um, cut, you want a piece of cake? Yeah, cake. 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 It's delicious. Cake. Ask questions. Thank you to Black. Oh. Okay. Star. Yes, you in the front. Awesome. <laughs> Already been there, been there, done that. <laughs> and it was with Vic. <laughs> we, I, I've shared a hotel room with him. Woo! I'm done. I, I mean, no, uh, I, it would be it would be my girlfriend That's because she's also a, yeah, she is my girlfriend is a voice actress in front of me. So, what about you, Sharon? I'll, I'll go with my boyfriend on that one too. He's also an actor. Ah, Vic. <laughs> right, because it's so funny, just like when we shared this hotel room, he was like, Hey, have you ever had a nutter butter? <laughs> what is it? And he goes, It's a sandwich. it's a peanut butter marshmallow sandwich. Do you want to Oh god no no no, I've got I've got to go to the gym in ten minutes. Um, and so uh they uh a nut butter is a peanut butter and marshmallow sandwich, and it is awesome. If you guys have not had a nut butter, you are missing out. Uh, but they're so preach good. it, preach it. I even have a picture when Vic calls. I'll show you the picture that comes up when he calls me because it's it's clearly it's all the time. Uh, but uh, let's see. Here's when he calls me. I'm gonna be. A, I'm. You know, I'm gonna show his picture. Oh what? Choose edit photo. There you go. That's him eating a nutter butter. I'm gonna go show this. Jeremy's mom is about Jeremy's to solve some stuff, folks, so stand back. Come on, please.
students were to be misers, what do you think? Whoa, whoa, slow down, Professor. Whoa. <laughs> she said that so a what if, if and, a, is, and, a, and a yeah, so math, if math. the variable is. So, in essence, if we were reversed in our roles. Right. What do you think Patty would take? Okay. Use a weapon. What do you think Soul would use a weapon? And then what Good. Do they know? A crayon. <laughs> a yellow crayon. <laughs> a crayon and some paper. And then she would just create a giant weapon, sword, boat thing with animal faces and a cat face. I said animal faces. That means like trap and cow and a bunch of other things. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I got a picture of Todd, yeah. Okay. Guys, we have five more minutes, so make your questions count. Um, oh, yes, let me add to it. Soul, soul will... It's, it's cake communion. I think, I think soul would just use his teeth. Like, you know, they'd be dentures. You know, that's not... That's not cool! <laughs> and then throw it at people and they'd be like, oh. <laughs> so, before Todd answers his question, he's handing out cake. We'll be doing the charity auction at the end of today. And here's the thing. We are all battling with the other show panels. Like, Black Butler has a panel. Catalia has a panel. Soul Leader has a panel. And I know that we're battling because I'll be at all three panels, so we will be battling. And I will win. <laughs> and this panel had cake. So it needs to be this one that makes the most money of all three, yes? Because this is the best panel this weekend. Yes. Whichever one, 
whichever one has the most wins my side. Pick one now! I can't! You one guys now. have to win me over! <laughs> okay, this is gonna determine if this is a hero panel or a villain panel. And if you win... <laughs> For today. Just to let you know, Tails also stands for hero, so you would have lost anyway. <laughs> now we have to actually do the auction. Who wants to be auctioneer? Can, can I just say one thing while I'm thinking about it? Guys, everyone that had a piece of cake, everyone, please, a round of applause for Brian here. You know. Here. I'll do it from down here. You can't see them. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so how do I do this? Uh, well, you gotta say, we want 10 or, actually, what do we want to start this at? To start at 10, 20, or 30? We want four. We want 40? Anyone want to give me 40 for this? 40. 40. Okay, dollars. Like six people 40. Anyone want to give me 60 for this? Well, we got, we got, we got 60. 60. We got 60. Okay, do we, do we want to go? 80. We got 80. We've got 80. Do we've got 90? We got 90 right there. 90. We got 100. 100 right there. We got 110. 110. We got 100 right there. We got 110. This is for cancer. If you've got 110 right there, 110. That's very awesome. Very cool. If you get cancer, I'm telling you, 110 dollars ain't gonna do it. But this is helping right now. 120 right there. 120. How much? 110. 120 right here. We that would be 120 bucks, 130, 130, 140, 140 bucks. This is awesome. This is going to a great cause. This is really, really good. 140 dollars. 140. Anybody else? 150. 150. Oh my gosh. Very good. 150. Anybody else? 150. 160. 160. 160. Okay. Very cool. Anyone else? This is cash at the end of the panel. 165, 165, 165, 165, you got 160 right now, we got 160, and there are a lot of opportunities for charity this weekend also, but this one has cake, 165, 165, woo, 165, 160, oh my gosh, the guy with the Star Wars clown shirt, 170 right there, 170 dollars, 180, 170, oh, okay. Up too late, it's in the computer. No, okay, 170 right here. Okay, 170 going once. Now let me, one let me ask, hold on, let me, let me ask this. Are you willing to let him take this from you? <laughs> you, you, you? He's my friend. Ah, oh, oh, friends. See, well, next week, your friendship so really worth it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Awkward starship. Come on. Italia's pretty. Italia's pretty. Hello, are we more devoted than Italia? We had tweaking. I know, man. Italia's pretty awesome. I, I know. Italia's cool. 170 going once. 180. Oh my lord. 180. 180 going once. 190. Whoa, that's crazy. 200. Right there, 200 bucks. Okay, 200 going once, 200 going twice, 200 going sold, saved a life with cancerness going away. Everyone, give a round of applause. 200 bucks to this gentleman right here. Now he won't eat for the rest of the weekend, but he donated to cancer. That's awesome. 200 bucks, that's very cool. That's, hey, I mean, that's very cool. You, you know that people are going to really appreciate that. Charities, they need all the help they can get. That's very cool. Congratulations. That's awesome. Man. Thank you. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, it's not going to go to charity. Um, so, uh, rad. Okay, guys, i tell you what. Whew, this was a day. I woke up at 2.15 a.m. to get over here.
It was awesome. You haven't slept? Did you get some cake? Was it fun? Okay, there we go. Was it fun? Yeah! Uh, waking up at 2.15 is about as fun as realizing you drank one thing of apple juice too many. Thank you so much for attending the panel. We hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. I've got to fight today to live another day. Speaking my mind today.